We have crowd stock. Thank you for helping me get this name too. I appreciate it. Hello everybody, I'm Jeremy Johnson. My partner in the back is Mr. Chris Foster. And we are the owners of crowd stock. So, crowd stock is a online crowdsource media marketplace for action footage. When we say action footage, that can be, uh, we go to the next slide, that consists of uh, GoPro footage, drone footage, uh, mobile phone footage that's done well. And what we're doing is we're going to help people who shoot all of this footage, uh, we're going to help them make money. So, thank you one, uh, thank you one too far. Okay, but anyway, so what's the business purpose? The business purpose is to offer a media producer like myself high quality video, a large quantity of it. Uh, we're going to help camera owners make residual income because everybody wants to make some money on the side. We're going to help publishers and advertisers save time and money. Um, most people out here who are into any type of photography or videography, they just really want to create. They don't want to go out and find customers. That's what I'm pretty good at. And so we're going to help you grow the business. But just to give you a little bit of background, uh, my experience is I own a marketing company called John Rich Media. I've had over 10 years of marketing experience, digital marketing experience. We specialize in identifying niche groups online. We also specialize in e-commerce. <clears throat> My partner back here, Chris Foster, has spent 17 years in uh, information technology, project management, and infrastructure management. So um, what we're doing is we're setting this nice marketplace up. We have a nice robust system. And like I said, we're really trying to just help people to get exposure and make some money. Next slide. So, you know, people may say, well, you know, these drones, they spook me out. You know, I don't really know about them. Um, but 500,000 drones have been purchased since last year, and it's projected to be a million for the next, a million a year for the next 10 years. GoPro recently sold 5.2 million units last year. Um, you know, so that's a lot of units out here. And so, what we're trying to do, like I said, a lot of people buy a DJI drone and GoPro <coughs> camera. They use it, you know, cool, the novelty wears off, they kind of put it to the side. Well, Hey, how about again, and we'll give you a reason to go out there and keep getting the footage, keep getting the stuff, get the dust, and we'll be out there and some of these things you need. Now, people may not understand what the real market opportunity is, but when you sell stock video clips, you sell components. And so, with streaming video, Apple TV, and 4K, are we moving into a world where people are no longer subscribing to the traditional TV, they're going to Apple TV, um, Netflix, everything on the internet. So once you move Streaming media for Apple TV is the dominant uh, viewing source. You go from, let's say, 300 channels on direct TV to millions of empty channels. Um, that means everybody will have a better opportunity to get the customers to love the playing field a lot more level, and everyone has a chance to really stand out. Another thing that happened is with platforms like Netflix, people's viewing habits have changed. So before you watch TV in a linear fashion, you wait for the next episode to come on a week later. Well, now everybody, everybody binge watches. And so what happens with binge watching is you reward yourself with all the content and break for more. And so we had an insatiable desire to watch more new dynamic content. And like I said, what our site would do is help people get those components so that they can get their stuff to the market faster. Next slide. So how does someone get started? First, create dynamic professional footage. You're releasing from any of the talents that may be in your footage if you don't have any uh, talent in it, it's submitted to us. We prefer it uh, edited down to uh, appropriate links that can be 30 seconds, one minute. If you have a variety of formats, we'll be accepted. You submit your clips to our online portal, you get assigned a user ID, you get to log in, take measures, and then you sit back, you know, get paid once your clip sell. Next slide. So, how will we market? Um, again, like I said, I have extensive experience with marketing in this group. And so we're marketing on, on the uh, seller side, the supply of the marketplace, which would be camera owners of all types. And since mobile phones are one of the cameras that we can see these sources from, all of you in this room can be some suppliers. Uh, the target market is media producers, advertisers, documentarians, and visual artists. These individuals will be looking for all of this unique content, and so you guys can help them get it. Next slide. That's one of our uh, tools that we use to get this footage.
Also, price of the clips will range probably anywhere from fifty dollars a clip to seventy-five dollars a clip. Uh, the breakdown with the distributor will be: we'll have a twenty percent marketing cost, and then we split fifty-fifty after that. So you know, you go out and do something that might take you a matter of uh, what ten minutes, five minutes. Let us market for you. You can go to the next clip. Let us market for you, and over and over again, you keep generating content, keep generating money. This is over here on 664. Uh, Chris got this wonderful shot of the water tower campaign. The cool thing was he actually had someone walking on the top of the tower. So it's not like today. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this clip would cost someone 50 or 70. 75 bucks, they can use it how they want. We would always like name friends as possible. And it's very in sizes. It is uh, anywhere in America that you can use for any type of commercial advertising service. A lot of times it just looks like this is PowerPoint presentations, um, commercials.
submission process, there will be a form that says how you want this clip categorized. So they will basically input name of the club, you know, detail it out, write the description of it, write how long it is, tell us the camera model. So we're putting that up to the, uh, to the contributor, and then we'll assign it on the back end. Um, and then as that grows, so just so it's not overwhelming in the beginning, the strategy is to start off with about two to three people for 50 cities, have kind of an exclusive relationship with them so that they can feel like they're in front of the line to make money. It's easier to manage the process in place, and then from there they can scale up. Because once with our revenue coming in, we can hire data and entry people to help with that. Yes, sir. You guys all about the information? Yes, we'll provide all that information and say, here's all the forms that you need to um, present. So in order for a clip to be on the site, we definitely need to have that right. But yes, we will. <coughs> Are you censoring any of the content? Number one, I sort of think about, you know, I think I maybe able to dig in a little deeper where he was going, uh, that gentleman over there. Censoring content? Uh, yeah, it gets submitted. Uh, it, it, you know, I, I know there could be a wide sure. variety of different content that could be uploaded. Mm -hmm. You know, how would that be categorized, so to speak? Uh, also, uh, the other gentleman, not to throw any shade on what your creation is, but will there be any? Pirating the other videos, how do you all oh, plan on let's protecting let's the content that gets right. uploaded? So number one, um, when we onboard people, that would be the quality control process, right? That's pretty easy because a lot of these individuals have already advertised that they do this and they have YouTube channels, right? So we can go, boom, get a YouTube channel, reach out to you, give us your portfolio. Once they verify, we'll probably use some type of um, uh, video conference just to kind of make sure we get a rapport with them. And so we're only going to be taking clips from a select few individuals in the beginning. So that's how we have quality control, where we have people who are of high quality, who are kind of aligned with what we're trying to do. Second question is, you see how every clip has a watermark on it. So unless you buy it, then guess what? You know, if you use it, I don't care. It's still advertising for us. It has a watermark on it. So yeah, I can't stop people from sharing the clips. I mean, I've done it with some photos. I've given them to my friends off the bottom. But I mean, that's just what happens, right? You spoke to the censorship. I'm, I'm censorship. Be and sure I had it clear out there. You know, what, what certain content is going to be censored, filtered out? What is going to be permissible? Right, what is right, right. Permissible? Well, see, everything that has, has to go through an approval process. So once we have the individuals, um, again, they have to still show us what we're going to have. So there's a for. standard. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a process. Will provide. Okay. Yes. We'll, and we'll also be providing direction on, hey, we're in need of these kind of clips. Okay, anyone out there who has that, go ahead and provide it. All right, any last, we got one more room for one more question. There, that. You? Yeah. Um, how are you, uh, how are you making money? How are you making money? How are you going to make money for a club? And then how are you going to roll up that into all the clubs? Or are you going to make it down to the club? How do we make the money on the club? We make the money so we do a 50 50 split after the cost of the advertising. Um, storage costs are pretty easy. One more. Anyone? Yes, sir. What about the FAA and the Are your videos that you showed us actually legal? Absolutely, because uh, so the FAA actually provides maps that shows you where you can have them. But since we're a marketplace, we'll be passing the liability on to Pilot. We're just a reseller of the clips. So we don't have the liability. We're just a distribution point and execution point, ex well, exhibitor of said content. So, I mean, in regards to the FAA, I think that's actually a good thing because again, what will happen is, there's no rules right now, technically. Rules come out next year. That's probably gonna reduce some people who are in the market as the prices get cheaper. So there's gonna be somewhat of a limited supply. So we have the appropriate licenses to this. We may be able to extend that to some of our contributors. All right, thank y'all so much. We got a landing page up, you can go check it out.